You guys ready to start? Mm-mm. Before we get started, what's one thing you guys think this podcast needs more of? No, don't do more smoke bombs. <laughs> I think this podcast needs more cowbell. Oh my god. <laughs> Where the fuck do you find all these things? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm Jerome. I'm Nick. And I'm Hess. We got a cowbell, bitches. I retired the bell, and this weekend I got a cowbell. What, what bell did you retire? <laughs> what bell? I met the horn. <laughs> I was going to say, what bell got retired? I almost got a, a slide whistle. It's like, like woo! And welcome, everybody, but maybe next time. We got a cowbell maybe for, now. Uh, so. The Any, next season. Anybody, I guess by anybody, pre- I mean you me. You paid $10 for that fucking thing? <laughs> You weren't supposed to see that. Don't ask me how much the sticks were. They didn't I come hope. with it? No, they were nine dollars. <laughs> they were a million dollars? They're nine dollars. Oh, I thought you said they were a million dollars. So if anything happens in the podcast, you want to ring a ding ding, go on ahead. Alrighty. <coughs> but yeah, we're uh, talking about the Soprano season one, episodes five and six. Something about going to college and something about uh P eight Pax Soprano. Soprano. Those are about the titles, right? College and Peck Soprano. That's it. Yeah. Episode five and six. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember these ones a lot. They're pretty good. Do you want to know the, my fun facts I got for the first episode before or after or in the middle or at the end of the podcast? Next podcast? Let's do next podcast. Okay. No, yeah. Spit out your fun facts. All right. Hold on. I need to, I need to do my face ID. <laughs> face ID? I almost just looked at the the picture of nuts I sent Hess earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my first one is that it was ranked number two on TV guy TV Guide's list of one hundred greatest one oh my god I can't talk one hundred greatest TV episodes of all time. That, that this is, is number great. college. Yeah, this, this is number college. Yeah, number college. I could see that, but like because I've already seen this episode, I was like, okay, like it was really good, but I was like, nothing kind of surprised me as it was just like. I don't, yeah, normal. it's hard to surprise you when you've already seen it. Usually, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I thought that I did like that episode. Uh, it was really good. The next one yeah. is that it's the first on-screen murder committed by Tony, mm-hmm. which is that's not that fun. But the next uh, one, I guess, I guess there's more coming. Yeah, spoiler. According to that, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll see. But HBO execs were initially opposed to Tony Soprano murdering someone because they felt that it would make him an unlikable character, and the producers had to like persuade them to be like, no, 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 like people will like it, and they had to talk him into letting them have Tony Soprano kill someone. Wow. Interesting. So potentially, he was going to kill nobody the entire show ever. Well, just to HBO, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's, they didn't want that. And I was like, that, how can it in- inevitably be a believable mob show or whatever if he's not killing anybody? Well, that's what, that's what I meant when we started this is... But this is before every you know before Breaking Bad and Mad Men. Well, yeah, like and I told stuff. you at the end of episode six, they start involving the FBI or whoever is like mm-hmm. investigating them and all that. And I was like, if they're making this TV show right now, that'd be at the end of episode one. Yeah, like I think they, you're right. it, they'd set up all the shit. They would not wait till episode like six to be like, oh, now the police are involved. There, there was a lot in episode six that I was like, oh, okay, cool. I, I, I remember that I, one dude showed up. What was his name? Roxy Star. J- J- what was his name? Johnny Sachs. Johnny Sachs. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy Star. You should see his face. We watched this last one together. Like yes. they'll, they'll say some Italian slang stuff, and drum looking. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, they they said a lot of random shit. That like that guy's name being Roxy Star, but he showed up, and you're like, oh, I didn't realize he's in it now. Huh? Interesting. And write a little note down. I just wrote his name down. Roxy oh. Star. Roxy. Problem is, I'll probably refer to him from that from now on. I don't, what was his name? Uh, Johnny Cash? No, Johnny yeah. Sack. <laughs> yeah, Sack. You know, like nutsack. Johnny Cash. Yeah. Just yeah. picture a big fucking nutsack when you see him. Oh, kind of like oh, what okay. you sent me. Yeah. I was just going to That was more like bubble gum. A little bit, yeah. yeah. That was bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we picture every yeah. time you talk it, about your It was ball. a rough night, so I couldn't get the selfie right, you know? Yeah, I bet. Those are his favorite jeans, too. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just cut offs. Um, but you guys want to get into the the episodes? No, I want to know what, so we're watching episode six. He goes, something happened last episode. Tony totally read me a Breaking Bad, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, so, in, the, in, it? in episode five, I still don't remember. I'm hoping I can remember when you go through your notes, but. Do you think Probably what, what? When, they're, when they're out in the woods, he's going through like the trailer, maybe? No, there was something that I was like, oh, maybe Breaking Bad got the idea from this. But I can't remember what that was. And I was, I was like, I should write it down. No, I'll remember that. So my question is. 
12 inches. How does, when Tony's like looking in the window of the trailer, yeah. he sees the statue of Ronald Reagan. Yeah. And that's what sells him on him being a rat fuck. No. It was the lips. No? It was oh. The, it was the lips on Ronald Reagan. Because I'm going. You don't I, remember the beginning? The I, didn't, this... I didn't get that either. They, they explained it in the beginning. Uh, okay. Let's go through I the episode. I think I wrote it down, and then we'll go through it, and then... Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. that part confused me, too, because he's like, I got you, you sly fuck. And, the, and then he didn't... No, he said and then he, rat. And then he rat did, fuck. He, I got you, Roxy Star. But then he didn't get the John's, guy to... Tell Sack is from New York. To, tell him. the rest of the episode, and I was like, well, what was that bit all about? I was so, confirming I, it was him. Oh. Uh, that part went I knew, right I, I knew that, that I knew that that's what he confirmed. Fabian but. Petrullo was his name. Yeah, Petrullo. Fabian, not, yeah. not, I guess it wasn't Fabian. But they were calling Poppy. him. But they called him. The people in the town called him Fred, and then he, they referred to him as Febby. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So it opens up with Meadow and Tony at a college. I guess it's Bates College. I don't. I'm not familiar with that college. Yeah, I think it was Bates. <laughs> right college. down the street was the it. motel. What if it was a legit college? I don't know. That's why I said I, would I, think so that's why I, they, said they I wasn't do, familiar with it. They do reference Tony going to Seton Hall. So. If it is, I bet that's not, because I also saw on IMDb that they filmed all this in New Jersey. They didn't film it where like they say they were and all that stuff. Oh, right. So if, it, pro- is, if it is a real college, it's like, that place, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, I totally spaced what I was going to say. You're talking about oh, it reminded me of Taylor right off the bat. When, when you guys are in the car and she's like, are you in the mob? No. <laughs> 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 no, and they, they walk out, and then she was talking about studying abroad. He's like, "Well, you just fucking got oh, here, yeah." Because Taylor studied right. abroad last. It right. was, was that her freshman? That was her. Yeah, freshman. No, it's because she was in a dorm. Oh, first year. Yeah, so, so it was. It was. Her, it, was her, it was her first semester of her sophomore year. Yeah. So, but yeah, otherwise, because I don't think I knew what's. I mean, I knew what study abroad was, but I didn't know it was I something was, that they I was, offered to you. I always heard study abroad. I imagine someone looking at a naked woman. Yeah, I'm studying that broad. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then in the car ride, she goes, are you in the mafia? That's funny. I was yeah. thinking this. And, like, I know she becomes a better actor later on. Mm-hmm. But, like, no one in the show seems like they're reading anything, like, scripted. Like, they're all really good actors. Like, you totally get into it. And every time she talks, it's like, oh, she's not that great. Oh, really? So to me, like, it, ta- it takes that. me out of it a little bit. I was also in love yeah. with her when I was younger, so. Oh. Uh, but... You like when then when you watch Entourage, you get really jealous of Turtle. Maybe. Yeah. How uh, do how, I? Well, oh, real, <laughs> real quick, how long after uh, The Sopranos started did The Wire start? Three years. Because it would have been cool if like all the people hunting them were the officers. You know what's funny? Wire. I had the same thought during watching this episode as they were going doing stuff. I was like, oh, it would have been interesting if they like an HBO universe and like they made the wire and then like they're just like they run it's like, "Oh, Tony Soprano back in New York." And blah, like blah. that would be cool if the if like HBO or any network did that like where they started two shows at the same time and didn't tell anyone that they were going to intertwine and then they intertwined. I and think it And then cool Arrow and Flash show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I, I, am, I am cool. a big sucker. Anytime you're gonna cross over anything, I'm like, oh, I'm in. Yeah, that's true. I, oh, that's a character from one show and another. You know, so you know, I get you know, what gets me is like mystery boxes or mi- like anything, like mystery. Like, oh, buy this mystery box for nine ninety nine, you could get da da da. Oh, so it's like it, so you really love packs and like it's, Apex it's and like, Madden and stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. I get that, but then by like the tenth time, I get disappointed by it. I'm like, fuck these boxes. Yeah, I'm usually lucky with shit like that, so I don't really. I'm matter. usually not. Yeah, remember when we, we yeah, I know flashback back to the old play when all we did was unbox shit. Now we just talk about TV shows. We were unboxing. We bought a bunch of these Deadpool now, exclusive now hot now topic. When you say topic we, do you mean me? We paid for them. Oh, I was okay. there when the transaction happened. Okay, <laughs> I carried the, you carried the bag to the car. Yeah, yeah. I paid the price though, and you'll see why. Uh, we bought all why. these Deadpool exclusive pop figures, and there's like one metallic special one that like super hard to get. And we're opening up, and like, and the boxes are completely blacked out, so you don't know like what's in it. So you open it up, and I was like, oh, nothing. Oh, this one's really heavy. Here you go. And I hand it to Nick, and it's the fucking metallic Deadpool. Well, wow, that's really heavy. That's probably the guy. So then he got it, and then and I was just sitting out there in the living room, and I never got it. Is it worth anything to this day, or? I, I think a couple of weeks after we did it, I saw it at Zia's, and they were selling it for like 50 bucks. I mean, it's, oh, a, wow. it's an exclusive, and it's yeah. metallic. So. They, don't, they don't sell them yeah. anymore. Like yeah. you, you can't go to Hot Topic and get it now. 
But I threw the box away, so who gives a fuck? Yeah, and I had it in my hand, and I was like, oh, but it's, it's in the video, too. I'm like, wow, I mean, this how one's much, heavy. How much, how much do you think a pop figure weighs? A couple fucking ounces. Okay, so this one <laughs> this, weighed, this one was a like a pound, and I was like, what the fuck? This, this one's heavy. heavy. Take this one. I was like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't too bright back then. Yeah, things have changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, many years, how many years ago was that? A couple years? At least a year. It's at least a year. Three. Um, I don't know. When did you suck the clams down? Oh, oh yeah. It was like the same yeah. time when you same ate the time. clams. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that another one of those. Yeah, we should give you more clams. Hey, Hess, can you do me a huge favor just this podcast? What? Can you hiccup up at least once? Oh, maybe. I mean, they, they just come natural. I don't force them. Okay. Because you'll know if I, if I force it. <laughs> it'll just... Yep. It'll sound, you know... You'll All know. Right. Yeah, I agree. What? I, I just I just wanted you to ask for a little favor, but we'll we'll see if we can get one later on. Hopefully. Uh, so at the gar- at the gas station as they leave after she we just totally glossed over the mafia thing. Um, but we know we talked, she asked, and he was like, "No, we no, I, he, he, he it, hurt though. my feelings." And then he, yeah, like, he did And then he said it's gambling. He didn't really say mafia. Yeah. He admitted. illegal. Gambling. Oh, I think that was the yeah. part that reminded me of Breaking Bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Then when he like he, he gets called out for something, and then he was like. No, it's gambling. That's where my money comes from. It reminded me of Walt being like, when he tells everybody else that he's getting all his money from gambling. Oh, that's what reminded you of? Yeah, that's what it was. Wow, I'm sorry I brought that up. I'm not. It's a good connection, pal. Yeah, sounds like it. So at, at, at the gas station, Tony first calls his girlfriend, Irina. I think, I'm yeah. sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's her name. Uh, after he fucking, he's like, God, I'm glad I called you. Hangs up with her, calls Carmela. Uh, and, and as he's talking and he's, to her. he sees a familiar face. Yeah, watching he, his car. I thought uh, it was when, getting gas. When he started look, well, he was watching his window. Yeah, the guy was oh. getting gas. Yeah, he was watching his thingy too. Watching his he's window. Watching, he's watching his dick. No, I thought it was gonna be like a sexy little montage when he first he looks over and sees someone watching it. And the it's guy's like like, gonna pour water on himself, but then the guy just sped off like a fucking prick. Yeah. Yeah, and Kamran was like talking to him. He's not even fucking listening to her. So, yeah. And then he jumps in the car and chases him down. That that was pretty. See, it was it was partly that scene. The minute, what are you doing? That and like it was like it just wasn't great on her part. I could kind of see that part where she's like uh, didn't seem as whining. Like, she scared. didn't she didn't seem scared. It just seemed like someone yelling in a high pitched voice. Mm, I, maybe I could see that a little bit. But I do I, mean, I like, do know she becomes a better actor later on. She's this yeah. is young. I also I mean Sopranos is known for not having good actors. Yeah, I saw too on IMDb that they. After like the first episode or four episodes or whatever, they were gonna recast her with a blonde daughter, and then they said it'd be too expensive to reshoot all those scenes. So they're just like, "Oh fuck it, we'll just leave her." All right. Yeah. So she got lucky. Yeah. They're like too much work. I mean, that would be fucking retarded. Compared to AJ, and she's fucking Meryl Streep. Yeah. Yeah. So Which there, there is. Uh, is I think crazy. there's two bullshit parts that I thought in this episode too. One is when. Uh, AJ's like, I'll be back in an hour. And then, like, it's nighttime. She's been yeah, watching a movie like, with the priest yeah. so long later, and then he calls and asks to stay the night. Yeah, that was bold. I, I, I thought of that, too. Now, there was something an else, hour, too. okay. Yeah, there's one other part that I was like, oh. that's, I might have that, wrote, wrote it down. That didn't down. happen like that. Um, although, when have you ever gone somewhere and told your mom you're going to be back for an hour and you were back in an hour? Every this time. Is true. I'm a responsible person. So, never? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, at the motel, he calls Christopher. To has him run Febby's plates. I did like that he got caught every time he was on the payphone outside. What are you doing on the payphone out here, Dad? I was going for a walk. I just wanted to talk to him. Okay, Dad. For you, I thought yeah. that'd be more believable because you go for walks a lot to get your steps. So I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Although you'd probably use your I, cell phone. Yeah, there's If no you could have Fitbits back then, then it'd be more okay. make more sense. Uh, yeah, maybe he should just walk. Yeah, like how much you, well, yeah. I mean, just like, Matt, like, just think of all the extra legwork. I just thought they of the hash part. <laughs> we thought of you the part in episode six and Tony's like, Hesh, I wish you'd just get to the fucking point. And I was like, yeah. Oh, I want to take that clip whenever Hess <laughs> is talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we marked the, the tape. Just That's kidding. nice. Um, so he calls he calls Christopher. He says he's running his plates. And then Christopher goes, Is that the guy that makes the Sinatra bust? And. Or the bus or whatever. He said, yeah, he, he made Frank Sinatra for somebody. And uh, Christopher goes, Sinatra? I thought it was Shaq. He, he needs to work on the lips. That's why later when he sees Ronald Reagan with the big-ass lips, mm. he knows it's him. 
That makes sense. I didn't yeah. catch that. Yeah. I didn't catch when, that either. When Chris was talking to him, I kept thinking of you. Because I was like, if you if you were Tony Soprano's soldier out there, you, you wouldn't, you'd be fired instantly. You'd be sleeping with the fishes. Because it's lightning and storming, and you got to wait by a metal payphone for yeah, Tony no Soprano to call way. you. Yeah. You'd be like, Tony, I can't do this. I don't know if I would talk like that, but you, yeah. You'd stutter because you'd be crying. I like that. He's like, you don't want to get wet, go travel for the Yankees. Yeah, I like that. How, yeah. He's like, how are you, whatever, wet? That's a, I, there was another Yankees reference oh. from uh, Junior. This, yeah. I think it was in episode six. When he, that just reminded yeah, me. When he, I'm the shortstop for the Yankees. <laughs> when he calls back later on, that was my second bullshit I remembered, is he's soaking wet, and then he pulls out a completely dry piece of paper to read off to Tony. Oh, I I just thought of the other thing that I thought was weird. It's like so Christopher's playing music and really super loud, and he's playing pool, and then the oh phone the rings. phone rings, and then like, yeah. and then a second later he goes dude misses, misses. The, and I yeah. was like yeah. he's like blaming the phone call even though the music's fucking blasting way louder than the fucking yeah. I mean it's not like that's oh, it would still it would still jolt him you know oh yeah apparently <laughs> so uh, and then it yeah that's what so then Carmela sends fucking. Uh, AJ to Jason's house, and then the f- priest comes over and goes, "Hey, yeah. how's it going? You want to almost and make?" And that love? is the guy who plays in uh, Nurse Jackie. Dr- Jackie with him. Yeah. yeah, I was pretty sure you were right. Yeah, uh, they talk about it in the book how they have sexual chemistry and shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. they just like he. I don't mind him so much. She just she's always bothered me. I don't know. She's okay, but. Uh, I like her uh, as an I like her as an actress. I'm not sure I like her character. But yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Well, yeah, I, but I can divide it. Yeah. Um. And then, uh, Meadow and Tony go to like a dinner, and she like tells them that she did speed. Yeah, I forgot that she says that when she starts talking. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and I, he's like, "Why are you telling me this?" Yeah. And then I thought it was cool how she's like, "I just want to tell you the truth," and he's like, "All right, that's right. Good. I'll I'll tell you most of the truth." Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. At least he didn't give up who she got it from. Yeah. Could you imagine? Oh, it was Christopher. Oh he probably would have drove home. <laughs> yeah, he probably would have went and had him killed. Mm-hmm. Called called pussy. So, and then he leaves her with the fucking random girls. Yeah. For, oh, they're from Boulder or whatever college they were by. And he's like, oh, go hang out with them. Yeah. Hey, you want to spend the night with them? Just, d- just don't drink. Yeah. Well, she yeah. didn't. Um, and then, right. so then he goes on the hunt. Then he became like Columbo. And, uh. Where he find he finds Febby at his house in the spa, you know, ass shot of his wife. Yeah. The daughter's like Dad. And then he trips over like a trash can after all that and the dog starts barking at him. Yeah. He makes his escape. That it was kinda cool seeing him like like do go after do, him. like do, his stuff. Yeah, 'cause like you you don't know how he got to where he's at, so like yeah. it's kinda cool. Like he has it's not no. like in <laughs> She's such a, you're such an ass. <laughs> we had a handshake agreement before this started that he had to do it. Okay. It's gross as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> what? It's gross as fuck, isn't it? Ooh. What's that taste like? How's that White Walker? Who am I? <laughs> All right. If the words get a little weird. Oh, okay, I forgot. Yeah. Keep, I, mean, I, have, I have re- a little more to drink there, fucker. <laughs> God. Does, does it still stand? Like, if I do it again, does he have to continue, or is it just no, one and done? I didn't agree to that. Oh, okay. I, I just didn't I th- know. I thought it stood for when I did it, didn't it? Yeah, for when you did it. Oh, but it's different now. Woo! That shit's fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. You know, the only dis- I'll, I'll put hair on your legs. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the, I doubt it. The only disappointing thing about that now is I know next podcast is going to end up being my turn. Uh, we're not doing this every podcast. I don't work tomorrow, so I didn't care. <laughs> Wait, Whoa. Oh, oh. The more I watch, the more I watch, the more I feel like I'm going to be Tony Soprano for Halloween. And mm-hmm. no one's going to get it because it's 20 fucking years ago. But hey, whatever. Yeah, they're not going to get it. I still think you should be Hoder and I'll be on your back as Bran. Wow. It's so weird. And you could be that one I'm wildling not, with us. I don't dress that up dirty, Halloween dirty, I'm an adult. You're a dirty little wildling. You know, that's what people say that are too insecure to dress up. That's for shit his pants. Oh, yeah. It, it sounded like he dropped two no, like, that, that pool balls. That was the deal. If he shits his pants, you have to do a shot. Why does his fart sound like someone dropping two pool balls on the floor? It was like... The air goes over his <laughs> neck. Wow. I Take should... a shot, Jerome. That's the deal. No, no. no we, have a, we have a different deal for me taking a <laughs> yeah. shot. 
Is it to do with me? Yep. Yeah. Did but, you do it? Oh but we're not going to tell you what it is. It just has to come up naturally. Yeah. I got to tell you, though, if this is Big Little Lies, I'd be fucked. I tell you what, I got one for next time. Oh, great. Yeah. All right, so... You know, I almost feel like I can smell Hess's fart in here. Wow. That's Me- a fucking heavy-duty one. I didn't even hear it, so... I heard it, and now I smell it. <laughs> it's probably just wow. another. I have, like, scotch in my throat. Mm. I wonder why. All right, so as uh, Melfi calls to reschedule an appointment, that uh, went over. Oh, uh, yeah, shit bang. Shit bang? Yeah. Is that what happened? The, when something bad happens, you're like, oh, man, that was a total shit bang right there. Fuck. <laughs> shit hit the bang, and then you just see, like, a bang, and then. Yeah. Pfft. Oh, gross. Yeah. It's kind of like shit it's hitting. Pretty, could be. Shit hitting the fan. Um, she freaks out, and then they watch movies and eat and drink. And she has to fuck this guy. They have to fuck. He's a priest. I, he's a priest. He can't fuck her unless she's a little boy. Yeah, that's the rules. Doesn't matter. It does in the eyes of the Lord. It does. Well, <laughs> people break rules and law. Uh, what? <laughs> Church rules all the time. People break rules in law. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> he had no clue guess, what was going to come out of his mouth I, as he started I was, that sentence. I was trying to think of. Uh, I was wondering because you're just staring out in space. People break rules in I'm law. I'm like, what is right here? <laughs> people break. <laughs> it's just Abby over there naked and he's painting her off to the side. <laughs> we can't oh, see it. Can you paint? That would be awesome. Yeah, so when I go to his can house, I? he paints me naked. Wow. It's hanging in his bedroom. All right, anyway. So, Febby anyway. goes around and goes, hey, has anyone been looking for me? Some New York guy? And everyone's like, no, fucker, fuck yeah. off. And they're like, why would he? Oh, he, uh, he hit me with his car or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know he hit my bullshit. boat or something like that. Boat. Yeah, I just went with your shit, yeah. Yeah, it was boat. Um, I, I like that, how they were kind of both looking for each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's funny, if you didn't know the show, if the show wasn't called The Sopranos, and it was called, like, the Febbies? Like, mobbing with the mobsters. The, then you'd, the thi- then you'd, you'd think that, like, maybe that guy was going to get Tony because, like, he he's, like, seems like he knows what he's doing. And he's lo- even, like, when they, he comes out of his trailer and shit, you know? But you're like, this is called The Sopranos. Tony's going to kill him. Yeah. But if it's called Mobbing with the... We should make a show called Mobbing with the Mobsters now. Wow. I like that, that idea. fucking horrible. Uh, so do a lot of other titles, and then they become really good. Name three. Sesame Street. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I, I like how he went up to the motel and he's like, oh, A Soprano? Or I guess T Soprano, M Soprano. They had their own rooms. But then they always walked in the same room. Yeah. That was kind of weird. They did. Yeah, that's what that was weird when he, when he told her, like, oh, I didn't want to use the phone in the room and wake you up. She should have been yeah. like, well, you got a phone in the other room, fuck face. Yeah. yeah. Carmelo calls it to see if he's there and then he's mm-hmm. there and then she felt bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because he wasn't out and killing then, anyone. And then, like, uh, like, to me, every time he went in, like he always like slammed the door. Yeah, they did a lot of shots of the whoop, whoop, to the door as it was closing. I think he's a door slammer from way back. Is he? I mean, how many times has he slammed the door on Melfi? Okay. Well, but I mean, have like, you been keeping track of that? I told you to keep track. They're just every time going into the the little Motel Six or whatever. And I, I have a hard time believing that Tony Soprano would stay at a fucking place like that. Well, I get it. I mean, you're he in did, the middle of nowhere, but he just stayed there. So, I mean, yeah, you have a hard it. time believing it. It happened twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, just saying. Where are you going to stay? Fuck if I know. They're in find fucking something. Maine. I'm sure there's fucking resorts and hotels in Maine. Probably not next to the college. Uh, I mean, I, I you think know. Tony's the guy. Now, Carmella might yeah, not be. Yeah, because it's not like he's there. driving like fancy cars and trucks and shit either. Yeah, Carmelo wouldn't stay there, but I think Tony would. Yeah. Um, and then, so Carmelo freaks out, and they do confession on the couch. She fucking loses her mind, basically. Yeah. Um, and then... It made me also realize how, how much... Like, because that stuff they drink, I'm not a big church person. That is... Isn't it wine, though? Mm-hmm. I was thinking yeah, how, like, how much of an alcoholic that guy is, because they were already drinking wine. And then he pulls yeah. out that thing, he drinks the entire thing while they're doing it and all I, that. I don't think a, they, they use real wine, usually. Oh, okay. I think they do. I think I'm Catholic. They didn't use real so wine. So am I. I. Did they use real wine when you went to school? Yeah, they no, did. No, they didn't. <laughs> this is like, it's I got, illegal. Uh, think about it. You know what? They can't give wine to children. 
So what does it taste like then? Wait, hold on. What is, what, hey, why Siri. does it taste like that? At Christian churches, do they use real wine? Catholic. Catholic. Whatever. Same thing. No. Add Christmas shirts to my shopping cart is what you got from that. <laughs> hey, Siri. At Catholic churches, do they use down. real wine? One option nearby is Holy Family Church on North 21st Avenue. Is that the one you're looking for? Wow. She thinks I'm trying to go to church. What a fucking dumb I, bitch. I, th- I think they, they water it down. Because they water it down, like, it's, like, it's if, like if like I pour water juice. in this drink, it's still rain with some water in it. It's not like it's fake. Not rain if you now. put it in like eight gallons. I yeah, guess, but yeah. I just, I mean, as a kid, I remember the first time I had, you know, after I took communion and was able to go up there, you know, like I remember it tasting nasty. Well, like just, it wasn't, it just, wasn't like grape juice or anything. You know what I mean? My other well, question, I too, never said it would tasted good. Just because, no, I know, but I'm just saying, like I, I would. I mean, I mean, at least I, that's what I remember. Have you ever had like, prune juice? Ugh, don't bring that back up. Yeah, I have. It's fucking Did it taste sick. good? No. But it didn't taste like there was like a fucking alcoholic bite to it. <laughs> I don't think they wanted it. My other question, though, too, is was he putting holy water in there? Is that what they do? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I, thought, I found that interesting. I didn't know you could drink holy water. We should do Plika goes to church and let yeah, might... and, edu- and educate Jerome. Yeah, on... cause I've never been to church. I've been to church like twice in my life. I don't know a lot about this. Yeah. He walked out and said, I'd rather watch Orange County. I did. Wow. Yeah, he was like six. My and then he was struck by lightning. My fa- Orange, Orange County choppers? My favorite part about going to church with Mima was when we would get out, there'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I almost lost my entire drink. <laughs> Scared the oh. shit out of me. <laughs> Did you forget how to drink? No, I got. I had like a tickle in my throat as soon as I took a sip, and it was like I had to cough. Well, at least you're not on camera. <laughs> that scared God the damn. shit out of me. <laughs> what I was saying, that water is tricky. <laughs> was when we ever we'd get out of church, they'd have tables and tables and tables of donuts. Yeah, donuts was a good thing, and I would love that. And then I remember there was like two, three times I went with her, and I was like. What the fuck? There's no donuts. And then we quit you going. You can't say what the fuck when you're at church. I did. In my head, though, I was saying that. I was like, this is As fucking a bullshit. A fucking bullshit. I came to church and I don't get a donut. I had to listen to them singing stuff and I don't get a donut. Shut the fuck up. What? Do you know how much I had to go to church when I was little? I didn't make you go, so shut the fuck <laughs> up. I had to go every goddamn You didn't make week. me go because you didn't want to go. Ugh. I didn't go because I knew what bullshit it was. But when I was your age, my parents knew what bullshit it was. And I still had to go to Sunday school and church. Yeah, but she still goes. She doesn't go that much. So are you was... are you one of those people that like someone can't complain about the weather because it's hotter in your area? What I said? Are you one of the people that like someone can't complain about the weather, like it being hot where they're at or colder they're at because it's warmer or colder where you're at? I've never thought of that. Oh, okay. well, you reminded me of that when you said I can't complain about church because you had to go. Uh, I, just, no. I just wondered if you had the same thoughts. Of that I just too. meant you've gone like twice in your entire life. No, in I, I said years. that, but I've gone way more than twice. Every time we'd stay the night at her house, we had to go. I used to have to go. So it was so bad. So I'm in third grade, <coughs> I went to Kachina Elementary. And then on Sundays, when I wanted to watch football, which is something you don't do, I had to sit in the same fucking desk because my church rented out Kachina, and I fucking had to go to Sunday school and sit in the same fucking desk. Oh, so you actually sat in your same desk? Same though? fucking desk. That's actually kind of cool. No, it was not cool. I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, like, it be, wasn't I'd be cool. like, oh, it's the same chair I sit in during the day. I did. I think I stole some pens and put them in my desk. Oh, it was my pens. Oh, so you sinned in church? No, I was in school. Oh, okay. It wasn't then, even in church. So have you, have you gone in there and be like, something, Father, I have sinned? And like, what's that called? Confessing? confession we just talked about have that. you have you done that yeah <coughs> what did you confess about no idea like i called my mom a bitch today i was like 12 so i don't know what i i it's a long time ago mm. have you ever confessed yes no i never have done that well, then then you didn't drink wine you got to do that to well i mean i guess maybe if i if that was like part of the thing i think that's part of the thing mm. if that's part of the thing then yeah but i don't think i ever went like after that then oh. and i couldn't even tell you what the fuck i'd Confess, you know. Father, I had a little tickle. A couple of things on this podcast, I got a feeling you have to confess about. (laughs) A couple of things that have been said. Ooh, maybe a couple beeps. A couple, yeah, a a couple of the bleeps. Yeah, maybe. We've totally lost our minds. 
<laughs> uh, those I, ten I, minute, ten minutes of church talk with I, and I yeah. and I blame the Catholic Church. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Tony comes back to the hotel. Met, Metal's drunk. That's when Febby has a gun on him. Oh yeah, and then I like how he's like later on when he's joking. Did I didn't shoot day. you because. Could you imagine like if this if the Sopranos was like Game of Thrones? Tony might have died right then and there. Oh, yeah, he would have been like the Ned Stark right there, and they shoot him, and then. Uh, like everyone would have lost their fucking mind. His daughter would have went up and went blind and became a faceless I, girl. See, here's the thing: I don't think everyone would have kept watching. You don't think so? No. If James bet, Gandolfini I, wasn't, on I bet anymore? that's what people said when Ed Stark died. No. You don't think so? No, because the book readers already knew that was going to happen. Yeah, but ninety percent of people watching in the beginning wasn't more book readers. I can't talk there. I sound like a little. Kid. I think a lot. I think a high percentage were book readers in the first season. Like why why was started. why was everybody surprised by that? They weren't. Don't you remember the YouTube videos? People, oh, I'm gonna record this and see what that happens when it, and for the red wedding. Mm-hmm. And they like, would just record groups well, of but people the red, crying. Red wedding. That's different because that's like a head and people knew. I'm, but, but I'm talking about that first season. I, I I think people were shocked by that and like. Oh, I think they were shocked by it, but I I think there was people who were already already like in on it, mm. preparing for it. Yeah. Think? No, 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 no. They were there's they, there were people gonna watch it regardless. Because they didn't right. know anything about it, the Sopranos was having like they were doing something <clears throat> new. If they killed off the main character and doing something new with a guy who they were afraid to even have kill someone in this episode, mm-hmm. I don't think people would have kept watching it. I could be wrong. <coughs> I'm just that's that's my opinion. Uh, I think it'd be more intriguing to me. In the, but it's, you got to you, you got to remember creators when it's, it's of the nice. show on on this podcast. I don't think so. so. Can... Not after we just talked about church. <laughs> He's like, fuck that. That shit's boring. No, I did forget that Tony strangles him. So did Jerome. No, I didn't. I thought you said you did. Oh, uh, maybe it was you text me that. I texted you that this morning, yeah. yeah. Uh, These two episodes were my favorite episodes of... I mean, I know we're so like six far. deep, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he just read his top two all-time ever. Right. Which right. I don't think... I don't agree with that. What? What's the number all- one? Did it say what the number one one was? No, I just said this was number two. You want to ask her? She thought I wanted a Christmas shirt on my fucking shopping list. That's true. That is funny. What I try to say is, at the end when he's strangling him, and he's like, I didn't shoot you because you were out of reserve or whatever, but the reason he didn't shoot him is because those fucking neighbors were fucking making him. And you know, the the funny thing is, yeah, Yeah, the funny thing is, is, so those two old fucks were walking in at whatever time it was when they got in, and when they're checking out, the old fucks are walking Behind. Oh, really? The, I swear to God, I'm going. What are the fucking odds that they're they're like leaving? The, those when old they're people leaving? are. They're Tony's guard. Are like guardian, guardian angel. Angels. Maybe <laughs> I almost said guardian Sopranos. I fucked up for a second, but maybe they are. We'll see them again. Every time Tony's gonna get in trouble, we'll see old fucks walking behind him. So, so did you notice when Carmela's like? I think he has his hot. It is hot in here. <laughs> fucking. I'm ass. taking that out of context. <laughs> fucking ass is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. I was just gonna hot. say something, meaning something completely. Di- I was. I'm just gonna say it, but I didn't mean it this oh. way. I was gonna oh, say, "Yes, you want me to come over there and blow you?" <laughs> but I meant it like wow. as a fan, like. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it almost came out of my. And, it, and your answer to that is yes. And then, it, and then it still came out of your mouth. <laughs> well, I had to explain and your, it. And your answer was yes. <laughs> no, I didn't say yes. Oh, you said yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, you probably shouldn't have said that. No, not like, oh, yeah, stick your mouth no, around my like, cock. Oh, I can't wait for you to come blow me, Jerome. <laughs> I'm taking that out of context, too. <laughs> I don't think you want to take that out of context. <laughs> I'm going to make that my text tone. Probably. Can't wait for you to come over and blow many, me, Jerome. How many, oh, I guess how many, ta- text me. how many times have you said that? I want to make that my text me? tone. Oh, <laughs> what did you say? I oh, want has to blow me. Uh-huh. Um, I think a couple times I've never done it. Yeah, I think a couple times. Um, you know what I forgot to say, and I should should I? I'm what? just gonna say it now, and maybe what? people are still watching. I wanted to do an experiment where people should oh. comment if they're even uh. still watching at this point. Comment down below when you quit watching this podcast. Like, what's the timestamp if you're still watching at this point? They're like, dude, we already turned it off. Should I should I cut this in in the beginning? Yeah, probably cut it. Or in. should I leave yeah. it? Do you really want to answer that question? Yeah, and then and if you do quit watching this podcast at any time, come down with a little timestamp and the reason why. And just a little experiment. I want to see when people quit. Interesting. Okay. Um. 
What I wanted to ask, did you notice when Carmela goes, what, you're going to spend the night? Father Phil's like... Yeah. Wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was he was staring her ass down when she reached over to get the phone, crawled over him like fucking. Yeah. yeah. And in the morning he was like Jennifer Dyson. Lopez in Flash or whatever that movie was, where she drops the rainwater on her. It's not Flash, but it's it's Flash dance and it's not Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> yeah, that was a really confusing statement. She was probably like two when that came out. <laughs> she she recreated the video, so. <laughs> oh, so that makes it okay. Yeah. Well, in my head, I never saw the movie, so. I'm not sure I've seen all of Flashdance. Yeah, it's a little bit old for my blood. What year were you born? 84. Hmm. What yeah. year Flashdance come up? I think 84. Hey, Siri. Maybe 83. What year did Flashdance come out? Which one? I found two. Flashdance. 1983 and, Flashdance. and 2014. Hmm. Yep. Which one? So you haven't seen the 2014 one either? No, it's, I was negative. The- I was... Oh, go ahead. You're negative? I was a negative one when it came and, out. What about the 2014 one? No. Why would I watch that? I don't know. Same Did, re- same maybe c- Jennifer Lopez is in that one. Did you know they put these things, it's called a DVD, or it, sometimes they even stream them, and you can watch older movies now. Yeah, I know. I am aware. Oh, okay. Because so it doesn't, I mean, I so your no, age. I have no, your age I have is, no interest. I have no interest. That Why, makes sense. Yeah. That, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. The age doesn't. Require. I mean, how many movies? Like he saw Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. He's right. He's born in '95. That came out in '69. Right. I watched Waterworld like two weeks ago. It's correct. That's a fucking great wow. movie, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's not get crazy. <laughs> I love that. I just I, that's always your really? excuse. Is I, I wasn't even born yet. It's like, well, yeah, who won the fucking World Series in '84? Yeah, New yeah. York Mets. No, '86, pal. Yeah, couldn't it's, tell you. Oakland it, Athletics. Tigers, but let's. I was just yeah. kidding. Um, yeah. I just I, I, that excuse always gets me. Yeah, yeah, sa- apparently same, it does sa- bother you. Same with you dressing up for Halloween. You use the same excuse. Oh, that I'm an adult. Yeah, they say you're too old for that. Eh, touche. In the morning, Father Phil doesn't remember anything. Thirty minutes. Thirty nine minutes in this time. He, he left a couple minutes. Longer. Well, we're halfway through the first episode. <laughs> it doesn't sound as cool on here. Hey, you can't hide my cowbell. I can. It's on the top. What is that? I don't. That's, that's I don't, where Jerome sticks it up his ass. I don't know what that's. Oh. I don't know what that's for. But you can tighten and loosen that, and I don't quite get it. It probably changes the. Hess is back. <laughs> back again. Come uh, again. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through the episode. <laughs> Just like that. So Febby tries to hire some crackheads. That kind of reminded me of Breaking Bad, actually. Me too, except Breaking Bad would have had real people, that, the, like people that actually look like crackheads play it, and they look like normal people to me. And the funny thing is, is oh, like, they didn't what, mean, I, I call them crackheads. what I thought of when I saw this scene was like, uh, they always say yes because they're like hooked. They're like, dope, you know, they're like dope fiends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're and like, they, fuck, they were like, you they're like, out of here. No, eat, eat a dick. Like, no way. Fuck off. Well, yeah, because like they just they probably just do a little like drugs on the side from this right. idiot in Maine, and they're like, "We're not fucking hardcore, fuck yeah, off." Yeah, yeah. Um, and then so after he he so he basically stalks him down, kills him, strangles him, looks crazy when he's doing it. The ducks fly overhead. I thought I liked that, and he's like, "Oh, yeah." See, you know what? His ducks like flew. The ducks flew away when he started again. this shit. And then those old people checked in the hotel. Maybe they were the ducks manifested in the old people as the guardian angel. And they turned back into ducks and flew over. Yeah, maybe. Did they write that that on your Sopranos book? No. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I should. How, like how, yeah, how is your book going? It's good. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Did it, it didn't say anything about the ducks becoming old people? No. Hmm. It's, that's kind of like your leftovers and dogs theory. That wasn't mine. Someone commented that shit. Yeah, but you made it your theory. I did not. You you, you liked it and loved, I just thought it was it, it was happen. so stupid that I was like, if this show might do that. That's like house house draw mantra now. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, so then he gets the third degree when he picks up metal from school after killing the guy, and he's got. And she's like, Dad, you're bleeding. Yeah. See, I didn't think she was bad there. Oh, I did. I thought she was bad the whole episode. I didn't get I didn't get it at all. But I mean, you know. So, uh, sometimes I, like, I didn't get her as a bad actress, like, in, in any of this, but, I mean, sometimes I don't catch on to it, and sometimes I do, I don't know. Uh, to me, it just, it just seemed like, like, everybody else, I'm like, oh, I, 100, I don't even think about that they're reading a, like, script or anything, 
And for her, every time, it just, like, it just seems like, it just, to me, it looked like her acting, and for everybody else, it doesn't look like they're acting. Yeah, I, I didn't get that, especially in this part, but I did, like, when you, when you said it in the beginning, I, I, I could kind of see it now that you brought it to my attention, but mm-hmm. I didn't get it in this part. That's fine. Um, and then, then my favorite part of the whole episode is when he comes home. Um, Why is that your favorite part, by the way? You told me that earlier. I just... I don't. I like Tony when he's like a smart ass, and like he can, uh, and when he's talking to her, he's like, "Oh, he's a fag." Yeah, he starts talking to her and stuff, and then yeah. and then he she, opens the, which is funny because earlier she brought up to the priest like, of all the priests in the world, I had to get I had to get the one that was straight. Yeah, was so it this episode or the last? It was episode this one. It was right before he left. It was, and then he, AJ's like, "I'm home." <laughs> um, I, he opens the fridge. He's like, hey, "Is that big ziti in here?" And and he's like, "No." Nah, they ate it. He was like, what, Father Jug here? Ed here or something? Well, I forget what he even calls him, but it was just like... I think it's like Father Jughead. Yeah, and then he's, she's like, you're, you're on the verge, Tony. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was virgin. I just love when he does that yeah. kind of shit. And then usually he gets the I, last... I, I wonder why you love that so much. I don't know. But I also liked I also liked how he, like... I was like, oh, I, I don't know, obviously you're, you're telling me, I don't know why you'd want to tell me this. And then she's like, Oh, by the way, your your doctor called or, or Jennifer called or whatever the fuck yeah. she said. Yeah. And then he just like then it like totally flipped and that's how it ended. I just like yeah. that. I thought it was funny. Oh, well, she she was setting him up for it. I mean, like. You know, oh yeah, one hundred. You could. Oh yeah. Because we yeah. knew too, you could totally see yeah. her like, oh, I'm gonna bring this knew, up to him to be like, you know, see, she I'm she gonna had, say something so that way it doesn't look like yeah. I'm hiding it, but I know she you had, are. Yeah. She had the bombshell to drop on him. Oh, for sure. So and, do you, do yeah. you two agree that this is top two episodes of all time? Top 100 is, isn't but whatever. I mean, know. it's definitely in the... It's definitely should be in the top 100. I don't know if it's the... It's hard to compare just one episode to one episode. Yeah, it is. I agree. Like it was I, good. Well, there's like, it was like in their 100 best episodes of the year, I think. And they put this in there as top two. Of 99? When this I, came I, out? I don't, I don't know when they put out that list. But it was... Oh. It I was, thought it was the 100 episodes of all time. Oh, it might have been. I don't know. There was I, a, I don't know when a, they did that. There was a list that came out from The Ringer last year. There's 100 episodes, like top 100 of all time. and then But they had rules where you couldn't use more than one episode per show. Oh, oh really? Yeah. So, like, there were there was some that were just, like, like, they, like, Bill Simmons, bitch. He's like, what? You know, like, Breaking Bad is like eight. How, you only get one. But, and then yeah. I think towards the end they let a couple get two. or so, I forget how they did it. but So, if you had to pick one from... Like this show, which, do you know which like episode you'd pick, or do you not no. know? No, um, I, I they're not fresh enough in my mind. It's I was looking forward to episode five uh, from the okay. start because I knew it was. I like, as of right now, I would not. I wouldn't put this one in my top one hundred. I don't think. Is it your favorite episode so far in this? Uh, no, I don't think I have a favorite episode so far in this. Well, what if someone stuck a gun to your head and said, "Listen, motherfucker"? I'd probably have to shoot. I, I don't think I could pick. You'd, one. you'd rather get shot than pick an episode. No, out of six. but I'm saying is like I don't like the, the, the all these episodes are fine. Like if we weren't doing this podcast, I probably wouldn't have continued watching it. I could see that, but I think that's part of the reason we stopped. I never got the vibe that you were into the show. That like much. to me, it's just okay. Yeah, see, I love it, mm. but I don't know. That might change us talking about it and going through it later on. I mean, got us into Big Little Lies, and I heard you guys love that. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> he really catches on to sarcasm, and, uh, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, you never know with this fucking bald-headed <laughs> eagle. Uh, Big Little Lies was a little disappointing this week. God yeah. damn, I'm just going, what the fuck is this? I mean, no one got shot. I asked him, I go, there's a lot of waves. You just thought there was like a mass shooting. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. He did say that, yeah. And he's like, yeah, no, I didn't think anybody got shot. No. Nope. Really, all right, episode six, Pack Soprano. Yep. We got five minutes. Yep, pretty much. No, yeah, about 15. <laughs> so it opens up with Tony and... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Episode six. You shouldn't you do it six times? No. Five, five <coughs> more. Oh. Wait till episode 86. I, I got to get better. Nah. I got to get better at the cowbell. Yeah, I, don't know how, I, don't know how, I don't know how much that would cost if oh. you get like one of those director things, you know? I could probably get one of those off Amazon, like 10 bucks. Episode six. Take yeah. one. I can just have you do that. That would have to be, be cool. whatever show we do next. Because now it's the Yeah, because then I have to retire. The, we'll, like, we'll have to like nail the horn in the wall and then put this in the wall and stuff, too. You're, you're definitely... Frame all these things. You're so, definitely not Will Ferrell. So when we die, oh, I should have dressed like him and been like... <laughs> Got like a, a brown sleeveless crop top. 
He's got. I got a couple of those in my closet. Yeah. yeah. I'll see. Oh, you know, nice. I still have leather pants in my closet that Chris gave me. Oh I'm, god. I've never, I've never worn them. You should wear... do a video where you go and like walk like two miles outside in the middle of the day in your leather pants. I would pass out. <laughs> and, then, and then like you know put the put the camera like at your feet and then I take mean, them off and see how much fucking water comes. You should out just wear them to the gym. I mean, remember when I was I was dressed? I guess you weren't there, but we went to your work afterwards. When I was dressed normal at. Uh, mom's old boss's house when I was trimming his trees. I almost passed out there in the yeah, heat. This fool can't. He doesn't like the sun. And when I was in Alabama, I almost, I almost passed out there like six times. Yeah. I forgot about you going to Alabama. With a banjo on his knee. Oh, that was <laughs> a shitty snap. Did you hear that? It was just like two pieces of skin rubbing against each other. Could have been huh. two dicks over here going, and you had no idea. Episode, wow. episode six. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I'm your son, d- <laughs> dude. There's two dicks over here. You didn't even have no idea. You would have no idea. Dude. If you closed your eyes and I went like, was that thumbs rubbing or dicks? You might, you'd probably think dicks. I don't think I would think dicks. <laughs> well, close your ears. I mean, close your ears. <laughs> close your ears. <laughs> close your ears. <laughs> no. <laughs> close your ears. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Close your ears. See if you see dicks. Oh, that was oh good. my God. There's so many dicks. <laughs> you know, this table, I keep touching it, and then my hands smell like rotten egg because that firework, uh, that love smoke bomb last week. Yeah, why did you let one off before we played Apex, by the way? I just thought it'd be funny if there's a bunch of smoke in the room, like when I did my intro, and then it got way too smoky. It can't be good for your lungs. Yeah, it can't be. I mean, it, I got really it, hot in here after your last time. Especially in like an enclosed room, like I, I I watched like half the video today, and I'm like, this motherfucker really lit off a smoke bomb. Let me, let me ask you a question, and and he, and, he, and he goes, God, I hope this doesn't start a fire. Well, I was throwing it right next to my dirty clothes. I was like, chances are it'll burn this shit. Uh, well, these are your clothes. Um, let me ask you one question before we continue on with episode six. All right. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone was calling. Him. Someone was calling me. Every fucking device I own was just ringing. My Fitbit, my iPad, my phone in my pocket. Dildo. Dildo. I have one of those electronic ones. That he has one of those panties ass. that I can over here and be like... Vuh, 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 vuh. Oh, drum controls them? Mm-hmm. Well, because they're his. I just borrow one once in a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, how many cigarettes did you smoke today? I, I don't know. I need a number. I don't know. Ten. Okay. But he's worried about smoke bomb going off in your room. I, you know, it's funny. Well, I, but he he doesn't smoke. I do. I know that I'm damaging my lungs, but I'm looking out for him. He's looking That's out for all. me. He offered me a cigarette on the vlog. Well, what do you think 10 cigarettes do to your lungs? I know. They're not, it's not good for it. Eh, he can handle a smoke bomb. That's okay. all my point. Uh, yeah, it's sad when Hess is looking out for my lungs and you're not. I told you not to light the first one on, <laughs> yeah, you fucking moron. I was actually waiting for another one this time around. That's what I thought he was pulling out when he whipped out this. Yeah, cowbell. no, you're like, not another smoke bomb. No, I got cowbell, baby. Which would you prefer, cowbell or smoke bomb? Well, now that you fucking keep hitting that, maybe a smoke bomb. <laughs> maybe you're going to get both next time. Oh, I'll put a smoke bomb in the cowbell and be like, while smoke's coming out like, of it. Poof. We have ten minutes, by, nine minutes, by the way. I talk about episode six. It's not happening. I think maybe you need to upgrade your note-taking game because this seems to happen a lot. It can't just be me and Hess. I think I'm, put- uh, I'm putting the blame on you. You literally said, close your ears. <laughs> that was about it was a, four it was, minutes. It was a laughed. simple mistake. Yeah, he laughed for ten minutes about it, though. It was funny. Right. Don't get me wrong. But then I yeah, laughed because you lost your mind. I think, yeah. I think someone just let me a voicemail too. All right, so you Tony still play, play it on the podcast. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I, it might not be. It's like, Nick, oh, it is a voicemail. Nick, your sex doll is ready. Come for pickup. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit, 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 shit. Details, press one now. Oh. To be on it's a fucking like one eight hundred number that called you. No, actually it's four eight zero. So oh. I guess it was one. What are those called? Spam call. No. When they use it, sex workers. All right, Tony's still getting uh, Melfi uh, followed by Home Alone's dad. Yeah. Yeah. I still couldn't remember what he. Oh, I remember now. He was in California Cajun. Remember I said I watched uh, this thing recently. Oh, okay. He was in that. Um. I like how he just, like, tells that guy to fuck off at every opportunity. Yeah. But yeah, it's much. funny. That guy, like, you're going to do all this work for me, but fuck you. 
basically every time. Like, hey, 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 you don't need to fucking know everything. Yeah. he gambles with them. Yeah. So yeah. I like how they always degenerate gambler. Well, motherfucker, you're the one taking the bet. <laughs> yeah, even his mom says that later, doesn't she? Yeah, she called because she wanted to play bingo. That yeah. poor old lady. Goes, <laughs> yeah. Here's my son. <laughs> and she's handsome. like, handsome. Handsome. Yeah, and, Man, I mean, and that bitch looked him like like a second. See, that made me laugh too. And then Tony like looks and was like, "What the fuck?" And then shuts mm-hmm. the door. Didn't slam it either. Well, because nope. his mom was around, he didn't want to hear a bitch about one more thing. Oh, I went to episode five. Do you want to just start episode five again? No. I'm I'm I thought I'm episode five was gonna go quick because it was just a lot of like going to places. Yeah, we talked excited about. Excited that she wasn't bitchy when she brought him the goddamn cookies. Super. Yeah. She was act- she was actually fucking Sonic. satisfied. I was I knew Hess was gonna like because he complained about her last week and I had to bleep out what he yeah. was saying. Uh, I was like, when she's like, oh, good cookies. And he was, I knew Hess was going to like that. Yeah. She's still a fucking bitch. No, yeah. I did like, though, when he's talking to her and, like, um, he's trying to do basically what Junior does all the time to her. And she's like, what? I know nothing about this. And he's like, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, sure you don't. Yeah. Right. All right, so we can just make this quick. So, like, it opens up. They, like, break up that poker ring. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of a whole episode to be like, hey, Junior, still be the boss, but kind of know your place. Well, yeah, because like, like, so, so like Junior's like, hey, I'm the boss. They're having poker. They need. I'm supposed to get some of this shit. Yeah. That's a, that's how it works. You pay up to everybody, Makes and sense. so he, but they're not. But they already had the okay of the other people. So he's like, fuck that. I'm the boss, which is he's allowed to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's and then after they break it up, then they show him at the tailor's office. Or uh, office? Talk to, he's Why did he call that an office? I don't know. He's getting a suit, and that one yeah. dude starts talking about his kid, and the other guy's his like, grandson. yeah, he fucking was sad. He jumped to the city. He was hitting his head, the, and they're like, yeah, shut the fuck like, up. Yeah. He's like, hey, 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 hey. Well, th- that leads to later him killing the drug dealer. Yeah. Who then, I like, too, those kids, were they saw that, and then like, he paid him off, and they're like, oh, well, he's really sad. He said he didn't want to live anymore and just jumped off. And then one guy goes, how much did he give you? Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Um... And so ba- basically, as that's going on with Junior, it's also going on that Tony can't get a hard on. He can't get a hard yeah. on when he's with the girls. And he admits that he is in love with his therapist, and kind of he yeah. keeps having dreams about her. Yeah, and sees her naked, her naked, attractive. naked yeah. in the shower. The weird thing is, is, he keeps having his girlfriend's voice in her. <laughs> the the <laughs> Jerome told me he had a dream the other day that but it was instead of the therapist, it was you. It was yeah, it was Hess in the shower, but your voice, and you're like, come here. Wow, I was like, What'd she say? Wow. Tony, I love your cannoli. <laughs> yeah, I think she did, actually. Tony's yeah. cannoli, no get hard? Mm-hmm. I did. I wrote this down. Tony dreams his therapist blows him with his girlfriend's vo- voice while sleeping next to his wife. Yeah. Yeah, that's normal. It's about every day for me. Yeah. <sighs> fucking Tony's in his head, man. He fucking can't get out of his own head. But so, so Olivia gets it to Junior that she should tax Hesh. Not Hess. Not Hess. We should tax Hess. Um... <laughs> So then Hesh goes to Tony. Tony talks to Johnny Sack. Johnny no, he Sack. goes to Roxy Star. Yeah. Johnny Sack, they have a sit down. They So they basically like get it down to 250, 250. from 500 and 1.5% and from 2%. And then. On the sly, on the sly, or something like shy business. On the sly. And then on the sly business. He's, yeah. <laughs> um, so then. Uh, the captains blame Tony for Junior being on this way, but yeah, he's like, "You guys did. fucking did it," and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, but you were gonna keep him in check." So then he, so Tony has a talk with Junior at the at the fucking little league game. That's an odd place to fucking. Yeah, is it, I think that's the only time we see a- it was AJ playing, right? I didn't see AJ. It looked I like it was him, but I, I I couldn't tell. I I thought that was the only time we saw him this episode, but I wasn't sure if that was him or not. I think I was under just... the impression like they just went there because no one would suspect. That's what to, I thought too. Oh, maybe two mob case. members at a little league baseball game. Yeah. Um, so he basically tells them, "Hey, you gotta, pay, you know, you're you're doing all the shit to make money, but you're not paying the capo." So then they take all of Hesh's money, split it up, and then Tony actually at the end gives it back to Hesh. Yeah. And then they have a whole those hoises hoises <laughs> those oh, hoises. Wow. The fuck was that? <laughs> but I can't say. Close your ears. Right. <laughs> uh, horses come back later a lot. Oh, uh, like someone cuts a head off and puts it in someone's bed? It's not the Godfather. Hmm. Uh, huh. But I like that Livia was like, yeah, that, that guy thinks he's too good. You should." And she's like, are you saying I should tell? She doesn't say it, but she fucking, she has Junior yeah. under her fucking. Well, oh, like, absolutely. Well, that's why Tony like eye rolled her when he, she was like, I don't know anything about this. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I missed much else, to be honest. Well, it was well, there, was that, there was that big, big party at the end, and they all, well, cheer, they that, all yeah. cheers to Junior, and then John, the fucking waiter, is taking pictures of him. 
Which I told oh, that's easy to go, so hold on. Hannah, what are you <laughs> You alright? <laughs> Heard something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh but you just weren't on camera. But so. jo- John was taking pictures with his shirt and I told Nick if he keeps going <laughs> They're gonna kind of know what's going on. They kept making that sound every picture. I know. And he's like, I think that's well, just they, for they, us. Well, they they like did a close up on his name badge, and I'm like, what are we doing here? And then I was like, oh. Yeah. You didn't hear that? Not when they first did the close up. Or there. saw the little lens. Yeah, there was like I a, did there was, there was the a little lens. camera pin on his shirt. Yeah, I, I got I got one of those right now. That guy's got a nice nipple. Yeah. I just want to say, so we're at the end of the podcast now, right? But almost. Uh, my deal was that if Hest yawned at all in the podcast, I had to take oh. a shot, and you didn't, so. That's bullshit. Dang. You fucking last one we did, you'd bun like 47 times. Yeah, so they, I took a nap. That. I took a little nap today. You used oh, to do that good. every day. Yeah, because then I never have to take a shot, ever. Yeah, we're mixing I try. It. We're mixing it I up. I try. Yeah. I try. What's that noise? I try. Fucking uh, Siri's bitch, his, Alexa's bitch ass. Siri's <laughs> bitch ass. Uh, <laughs> now, now she's listening to Hest again. Are we, we good? We done? We done? We good? Uh, I think so. Did huh. we, if we missed anything, comment down below. Say, Nick, what the fuck? And then we missed. Well, you, I mean, missed. You, you make me fucking go through this shit. You made me, first of all, you I made told me you get, you could go through your notes faster. And oh, you tried did, to tell me I was wrong. You he, did it faster. He, cause That's I, what we should do. We, I, uh, to I did, next, next week, I didn't we use should the like, notes. That's why. We should fly by. Like 20 minutes, and then after that, we can just fucking talk about whatever the fuck. No, it's gotta, it's gotta come natural. Yeah. No, I know. Um, we didn't talk about how he stole Melfi's car and then put a new starter in it. Oh, yeah, and she's a little suspicious about that. Yeah, yeah she's like, that's and, and a she's fucking... Like, she's like, what else are you doing? Have me violation followed? Violation of privacy. He's like, no. You fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you tra- fat fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Calm down. All right, well... That's it for another episode of Random Ramblings, everybody. Please like, subscribe, go check us out on iTunes, Anchor, anywhere else you get podcasts, Google Play... Uh, you can come over here and listen to us. I'll hit play on my. Aww. I'll hit play on my laptop. If you want to come to my bedroom and listen to it? I'll wow. play. Uh, you have like stadium style seating in the front yard now. Yeah, I'll put some lawn chairs well, out there. It's only do like the li- out. A, a live podcast. Yeah, do a live podcast. Yeah, a dead podcast. We'll put. We'll, we'll do it in here. We'll put speakers out there so you Junk can. Don't wear his leather pants. Yeah, but you want to see all that? Yeah, sure. Let's subscribe. Hess can wear your leather pants. Yeah, check out our other videos. I must knock down my headphones. Not a chance. And we'll see you guys next time for Sopranos episodes. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. I knew that. Donkey Kong and the Italian Mastellini. Close your ears.